uh, James Taylor by a special request. You can contact me by sending an email to easypianolessons at yahoo.com. The website is www.webpianoteacher.com. <clears throat> and here's the beginning. This is a guitar intro here. And the piano is also playing eventually, and I kind of tried to combine both parts when I could to make it sound, uh, you know, most like the real song. So we start out with... Then we have a uh, <clears throat> D above middle C here in the right hand, and quickly to an E. And I put a curved line because it's fast. On the guitar, you're doing a hammer down, which means you, you pluck the string, or pick the string one time, and then hammer down with your left hand. And you can kind of duplicate that on the piano by playing the D a little bit louder than the E. Like that. Play them both loud. It doesn't quite sound like it. So if you can play the first note of the, the slurred notes a little bit louder, it sounds more like the, the guitar. And then up to C, and then down to G, and then, then down to E. We'll do the same thing here to E, D. And then up to B flat, then F, and then D. So the first part on the right hand is and then F and then D. And then we come up here to, to high C with the G. Then we're going to play the C and the G together and quickly flip that to an A. And then back to a G with the C. And then back to C and A. And then we're going to have G and D together. And flip that to an E. Okay, try to play the E softer. Like that. So the right hand from the beginning goes. And then we have middle C and F together. And then E, D, C. And that's kind of fast. So da -da 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 for that part. Left hand's going to have a C with a G below middle C, a fifth there. And then a single G down here. And then we're going to have an F and then a middle C together. That's going to come quickly in between there. And then we have us back to a C and a G. And then we have three C's in the left hand. Bop, bop, bop. Don't play it too loudly. Okay? And so if we put hands together, we play together here. And then C, G, E. Change your pedal and play this. And this comes quickly in between. So it goes left, right. And then this is together. Let me do a little bit slower without talking here. G and D together, and then flip that D to an E, and then a middle C, and then an E. Left hand's on a C fifth, so C and G together, and then two C's. Okay, so hands together on this box is... So, da -da -da -bum -bum, left, left. Then we have G, B, D together, with the left hand on a G, and then a G in the right hand, and then a B. And you wait a second before you do that last F. That F comes right at the end of the measure there. So, bum, bum. Again, bum, 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 bum. Now we put this measure with this one. You can hear how it goes. You hear how that F comes right at the end. And then we have B flat and F together. And then an F, a low F. B flat, and then an F. And then back to the low F, up to a high A. Then an F, then a B flat. This will all make sense in a minute. Then you play that B flat again with a D, with an F, and an A. Okay? And then F, D, B flat at the end. Now the rhythm won't make much sense to you until we put the left hand with it. So let's look at the left hand. And this is a mistake here. This should be a B flat, like all the others. So B flat, and then another B flat, B flat all the way through. But you have to fit those B flats in between like this. So you play hands together, and then left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and then together here. Okay? And starting at this B flat, it's fast. Ba 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 ba. So let me go up, uh, not up to tempo, but in tempo a little bit faster. Here we go. Try not to play the B flats on the left hand too loud. Play the right hand louder. So we have. All right, 
and then we have uh, where the singing starts. And right here, you can play octaves on the left hand if you wish. But anyway, the chords are G, C, E, and the quotes tell us to play that chord again. And then we have G, B flat, D, F. And then play it again. And then we have C, F, A, and the quotes tell us to play it again. And then we have, uh, let's look at the left hand, C, G, and then F, and you can do the octaves wherever you like. Anyway, starting here with both hands together. Just yesterday morning, let me know you were gone. Now when we get right here, we have C, E, G, and I thought I'd throw the guitar fill in there. That sounds kind of neat, so this is the guitar part here. D and G together, flip it to an E quickly, and then back to G and D together two times, and then a C and a G together. So that last box there goes have up here a con continuance of that D and G together, flip it to an E, and then a C, E, G chord. Left hand just stays on a C octave that whole time. So if we put hands together starting here, we have... See how I put that C octave in between right there? And then up here. Alright, then we have G, B, D together. Left hand's on a G octave. Well, tell us to play it again. Thought I'd, I'd squeeze a third line in here since we're almost through with the verse. Then B flat, D, F, A together. Left hand's on a B flat octave. Then play that chord again. Now I have a squiggly line going down, two of those, because you're just going to play this chord again going from top to bottom. Two times. Okay, so this box would go one. So let me, and then after that, uh, you would start back here and uh, finish the second half of the verse. So let's do that. Here's the repeat. Okay, so there's part one, and I hope you enjoy it.